The iAir 1000 controller is an integrated economizer and ERV controller. The main user interface on this device is the two line by 14 character LCD display and push buttons. The controller doesn't need any external computer or programming to do any of the work or setup. All modes and set points can be modified using the push buttons and LCD. Controller status can be viewed by the three lights on the front of the unit. These lights indicate power, status, and alarm. The controller uses 24 volt power, which is applied to the front of the controller. There are eight analog inputs that are located on the right side of the controller. An additional two analog outputs are also located on the right side of the controller. You can change from 0 to 10 to 4 to 20 milliamp by putting a jumper on the tab beside the controller on the right side for these analog inputs and outputs. There are four digital inputs located on the left hand side of the controller. There are four digital outputs located on the left side of the controller. There is an RS-45 port used for communication between the controller and other devices when required. A programming port is located on top of the unit. The controller can have two board-mounted pressure transducers installed. Access to the pressure ports is located on the top of the unit if these transducers are installed. The control board is conformal coated on both sides to help prevent water from getting on the board and causing any issues with the controller. The iAir controller is very easy to set up. You utilize the push buttons uh, and the LCD to do all the interface. We're going to walk through setting up the unit in standard economizer mode. You'll start at the main menu and there are several main menus uh, in the controller. Status, test mode, set points, configurations, and alarms. To set the mode you're in, you'd go to the configurations, hit enter. The controller mode is which of the main modes it's in. Right now it's set to DCV. We will make it to economizer. Hit enable. Now economizer mode's enabled. You're now in the standard economizer mode. The next thing you would do is go to the set points and make the set points that you want. You'd set the high temperature limit, the low temperature limit to prevent coil freezing, the free cooling supply air temperature set point for where your damper is going to be controlled to on the discharge of the RTU, and the economizer minimum damper position that would bring in your minimum outside air except for free cooling. Once you're through that, the setup is complete. The controller has four main modes of operation, economizer, demand control ventilation, IAQ, and ERV economizer. The economizer mode is standard economizer operation. You set a minimum outside air damper position into the controller and it runs with that damper position until free cooling is sensed. Once free cooling is sensed, the damper starts to modulate to maintain a supply air temperature discharging into the space. Demand control ventilation adds a CO2 sensor to the package and begins to modulate the outside air being brought into the space based on the CO2 reading. The higher the CO2 reading and the occupancy in the space, the more outside air is brought into the space. The lower the CO2 reading, the less outside air is brought into the space. IAQ mode is a patent pending process developed by iAir utilizing both a CO2 and a VOC sensor in the space at the same time. The damper position modulates based on both how clean the air is as well as the occupancy reading in the space. This allows for less overall air brought into the space. The fourth mode, ERV, allows for both an economizer and an ERV to work together at the same time controlled by one controller. There are several options that work with any of the above modes. The standard controller runs on a dry bulb temperature sensor. You can add a humidity sensor to calculate enthalpy and only allow free cooling based on an enthalpy calculation. You can also add a building pressure sensor to the system that will allow control of a modulating powered exhaust or to modulate the exhaust fan on the ERV to control building pressure in the space. The rooftop unit can be a standard single speed 
or two-speed fan. The controller will sense what speed the RTU is in and modulate the damper to maintain a constant amount of outside air regardless of the speed of the rooftop. You can also add a back net translator to push the points from the economizer in the ERV out to the building front end or pull points back into the system. The iAir 1000 offers a wide range of benefits. There are four standard modes of operation. Each mode can utilize multiple options, including two-speed RTU control and RTU VFD control that allows you to put the controller on a VAV system. The controller is scalable. This means any option or feature can be added after you install the base controller. The controller can then be configured through the LCD using the push buttons without the need of a computer. Where this becomes a huge benefit is at the factory level where there tends to be multiple economizer platforms on each RTU. This happens because everyone wants the base economizer to be the lowest cost option. But as functionality is added, like back net control, the same base economizer platform cannot usually be expanded to handle all the options. Because we have a back net platform, ERV economizer control, and all the additional options built into a single controller, you can build your RTU with our base controller the same way each time and then configure the unit and add the options after the fact. Your wiring, production, and SKUs can be the same each time for the base unit, saving time and money. We also have the patent pending IAIR IAQ logic, utilizing a CO2 and VOC sensor at the same time to reduce the amount of outside air brought into the space, reducing utility costs to the owner of the system. Looking at this chart, you can see several cities shown around the country. With each of these cities, you can see the potential tonnage reduction and ongoing average savings you can provide the owner. These savings provide a huge benefit to the users of our IAQ system over a standard economizer system. But the ultimate benefit of this system is that it should be the lowest cost factory alternative in the market. This happens because we do not use a proprietary communication network and our system utilizes standard sensors and actuators like a 24 volt actuator with feedback, 10K NTC type 2 thermistors, standard humidity, CO2, and VOC sensors. You are not required to utilize our sensors or actuators with the controller. We would like to provide all of these devices to you, but we are willing to break out the pieces so that you can search for the lowest cost option you have in building up your economizer platform. When considered in conjunction with the fact that the data can be pulled out of this system into any platform, it makes the iAir economizer controller a great value for your factory business. For more information about the iAir controller or any other iAir products, Please visit us online, send us an email, or give us a call.